Hello everybody and welcome to this top 5 best plows in Farming Simulator 22. These are my top 5 and yeah, I don't want to have any comments that uh, these are not the best 5. Uh, you may have your favorite, but um, but if you have any uh, that I don't have here, which you think is better, of course, leave it in the comment section. Uh, but these are, are my favorite ones, which I use a lot. And we have a new guy here. This guy here, for example, might be one of my favorites now. Um, but yeah, okay. Sorry, that class. So, we're gonna start with this one. This is the Lizard 6MT slash 9MT. This is a nice one. This one uh, I've seen a lot of people are using. And the, the reason why I like this is, first of all, um, you can connect it either on this side or this side. If you connect it on this side and have the spikes going backwards, you can use a tractor with, what? Eight horsepower and you can pull it if you put it on this side you have to have 320 I think it was um, and it's pretty cheap uh, I don't think I'm, should we show everyone in the mod hub they're all on, on the mods of course uh, but this is the one the lizard 6 MT so you can have it as a 6 meter or 9 meter and then it's 19,000 to buy uh, slot count is four, so not too shabby on the slot count. Shall we show quickly how they work? Yeah, just a quickie. All right, I'm gonna just cut down here, lower plow. There you see, normal like this. 15, 16 kilometers an hour. Oh yes, we need to try. <laughs> we have to test it out. Uh, I've leased myself another one, which is six meter, and this little Cito tractor here is only 25 horsepower, and you can see it's handling the weight also pretty good. <laughs> Let's see here now. Let's get the. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. There. Oh, come on, buddy. Gear it up. Yeah, you, you're gonna struggle a little bit, but but you know this is the I think it's the weakest tractor in game. So 25 horsepower, maybe a little bit too small. But if you have like a 50, 60, 70 horsepower, it will pull it easy as that. But just to show, as long as you are connecting to the other side. And you know what? I have a bonus tip on how to use this plow. So, a short little bonus tip here on how you can do two jobs in one with this kind of plow. First of all, you need to have the plow with the spikes pointing towards you. Hook it on to the tree point link. On the back, the modded stone picker, which is a nine and a half meter. You find it on the stone pickers and it's called the Scorpio 710, 9.5 meter. So, let's see, let's uh, turn the stone picker on and lower it and lower the plow. So now we are plowing and picking up stones. And you can see the width on both of these are more or less the same. And if you haven't done uh, that much stone picking, if you really like stones and you want to have more stones, um, you could, let's see, if I raise my plow now, and then I go over here. And uh, so now you can see we have no more stones there. So bonus tip number two <laughs> is that there's a never ending story when it comes to stones. See if I lower my plow again now, you can see I'm getting new stones. So you can go back and forward over your field as many times as you want and you can have endless with stones. <laughs> I know, I know it's a little bit cheaty. 
So, over to the next one. This is the Lizard SP-10M. It's by Ridiculous Dominic, I think. Yeah, you know him, who has created the uh, crazy and remarkable John Deere 4755. This is more of the same uh, genre, so to speak. Where it, it's it's really nice, uh, highly detailed and so on. Um, it folds together, so it doesn't take that much room in your shed. And it also comes with an unrealistic speed. And also this one as the uh, 9 MT, you can connect it on both sides. Boop. Like so. So when you connect it on this side, you don't need any power. So, there are two of these guys. Uh, let's see here. We have the normal SP-10M, 4200. Uh, slot count was three, was it? Yeah. Uh, the Unreal one is just the same. The only difference there is the speed. This goes up to 40 km an hour, whilst this one is 15. But you can also use this one as boop, a mulcher. So, you know, if you have a workshop trigger uh, just after the harvesting, you can use it as a mulcher. And then put it as a plow. You can plow up. Ton of color options, as always, from Dominic. So what I'm going to do... Um, I got this guy here. <laughs> this one, uh, if I if I pull the plow this way, it uh, requires. Let's see, what did I write down here? Uh, 320 horsepower. But if I connect it on the back side, yeah, I'm going in on the back side with the spikes going the other way. And as you can see now, if we fold it, L1 and X. Boop, this is probably my favorite. Uh, look at the look how small it is. We can use this on really small maps. Boop, boop, boop. Valley Spring, for instance. There we go. Let's lower it down and full speed ahead. There we go. Cruise control on. And as you see, the speed 40 kilometers an hour. Pretty decent. Let's try to pull this with the Seator. <laughs> All right, we got the Seator connected, uh, and it seems like this uh, this plow here is even lighter than the 9 MT. Uh, let's lower it down. You know what? I'm gonna take Create Fields, uh, L1 Triangle, and Cruise Control, and let's see. You know, the top speed on this one is uh, only 22. But yeah, this this one <laughs> this one is definitely uh, lighter. And what I also can do, if I'm going to a narrow area, I can do like this. Boop. Oh no, I need to expand a little bit. Oh, up, 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 up. The hedge there. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. So yeah, this one here, um, definitely lighter. Um, <laughs> I know, I know. So moving over <laughs> to this guy here. This is the case Ecolo till 2500. Four slots, 80,000 to buy. That's a little bit tough, but anyway. Requires 310 horsepower. You can have it like this, which is my preferred way, or you can have it without this extension and just directly into your tree point. That removes the tire, so if you have a small tractor, uh, it could be a little bit back heavy. But anywho, let's jump in here and have a look. Where did I put you there, buddy? Uh, there we go, 80,000, did I say? Yeah, four slots. So you can have it like this, or with the extension. And with the extension, you also get a pin hitch, which again means you can fast farm with it. I have to be honest, I'm not sure. 
because I, I've used this, uh, I won't say early days uh, in FS19, no FS22, but I didn't know at that time uh, that you could actually uh, fast farm with this weight. Um, if you wonder what this weight is called, this is the uh, self-made weight by Polycal Taz. Let's see, let's unfold this bad boy. And uh, let's see if we can get any speed on here. Boop, like so. Cruise control on. There we go. Yes, definitely fast farming. We are doing 30 kilometers an hour. But this one doesn't have any connection on the back, so with this one, you. You kind of need um, a pretty big and heavy tractor, 310 horsepower. But anyway, that's the case. Ecolo till 2500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, your horses, your John Deere fans. Of course, we need the John Deere plow. There are actually two pretty good ones, but this is my favorite. This is the John Deere 2410. It's 13 slots, 85,000 to buy, and requires 320 horsepower. Well, not exactly true, but yeah, 16.7 uh, meters, so it's pretty big. Pin hitch, you know what that means. Uh, but yeah, I, I like this one. And uh, in the beginning, uh, there was a lot of trouble with this one. But the mod maker has updated it and it's working pretty good now. Plows. Do, do, do. There we go. This one here, the 2410. No options with it. The other John Deere plow I really like is this one here. Uh, but this one um, also is a little bit heavy on the horsepower. Even though it's got a pin hitch. It's the same with the case one. I haven't tried this bid. Um, the self-made weight. But anywho. So, this guy here. Uh, with this kind of weight here, you don't need that much horsepower. Uh, but first of all, let's take out this bad boy. Oh man, look. Listen to the sound on this guy. There we go. Let's unfold this bad boy. Let's uh, ruin some of my grass over here. Doot. Lower it. And yeah, when you are using uh, this kind of fast farming um, tool, weight like this one, uh, don't lower your tree point only lower the plow if you want to go a little bit faster than normal so l1 create fields boop cruise control nice animation dusty animation and as you can see 16.7 meter plowing and we're doing 40 kilometers an hour I want to say, I have tested this one with a smaller tractor uh, and it works, but there's a, a, a little bit of a catch. Oh. <laughs> now I change it out with a 136 horsepower tractor and it will pull it, uh, but the catch is that when you go up to um, a certain speed, it gets a little bit heavy. So when you're turning, like so, the, the uh, plow, oh yeah, the plow wants to, you know, flick you the opposite direction of where you're actually driving, but it's working. Uh, you just have to be a little bit careful when going sharp corners. Oh, I went pretty good. Not too shabby. So that's the uh, John Deere 2410. So, moving over to the last one, and yes, of course, we had to have this one with us. This is the Lizard SM72-82. 
This comes in two different um, uh, wides, no, <laughs> two different work widths, uh, 22 meter and 26 meter. It's five slots, uh, 72 or 87,000 to buy. Horsepower requirement is a little bit different between the two of them. And also with this one, uh, there is a catch, but I'm going to try to show you a solution on it. Plows. So these are the two. So you got the small one, which is only 22 meter and 330 horsepower. And the big one, 26 meter and 370 horsepower. You have option of putting on an attacher on the back. This is a pin hitch attacher. So, you know, if you have like a cedar or maybe a fertilizer spreader on the back, which is, you know, equal size, 26 meter, you can do that. A ton of color options as you wish. Now, this one here, you can also fast form with. But first of all, Mac Trucker 921. I'm going to show you the uh, normal way <laughs> so to speak I'm gonna crush through my crops there yeah I know I have manual saving on so don't worry you guys I'm gonna lower this bad boy I'm gonna create fields as you can see here 26 meter plowing and it's going like a charm So, can you fast form with this one? Yes, of course. So, to fast form with this uh, bad boy here, uh, you're gonna need two weight packs or two weight mods, so to speak. Uh, you're gonna need this one. I'm gonna show you where it is. And you're gonna need this one, which is a part of a pack. And uh, with these two connected together, you can fast form with most of the three point connection implements vehicles equipment all right let's see let's see weights wait 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 there we go and this is the first one so this is called the lizard 500 kilos and you have to make sure boop, you're getting the catch hooks on buy it or lease it like so color options and then these two weights here on the end is coming as a pack which is called the lizard 900 slash 650 i think it is uh take this one here also the same here you need to have it boop, with the three point so with these two guys together it is getting a little bit wobbling but um you know if you have if you have big fields big area big roads this is the uh, perfect plow for you so if you see now if I if I turn a little bit like so you can see it's a uh, very flexible that's what she said and, <laughs> and now I'm gonna lower down the plow oh come on buddy and then create fields and as you can see it is eventually stabilizing and now we are plowing 26 meter at what 48 50 kilometers an hour going really fast in the turns and you're gonna make some heavy graffiti <laughs> so this is the this is the the bonkers crazy side of it but the, uh, this is to my knowledge the biggest plow we have on console a time of recording of course that could come new ones you never know Shoo. so the catch with this one is of course the oh let's let's uh, take off uh, this one let's uh, fold it um, the catch with this one is of course the transportation um, width on this one uh, you know what I'm gonna also uh, disconnect the um, weights 
Now to transport this bad boy here onto the roads, um, you're gonna get into trouble because it's too wide. Um, and there's probably a lot of different options of how you can transport this. You can probably use the um, the uh, big bag lifter and somehow lift it uh, in this angle. What I used to do, um, I used this guy here. This is the Lizard 50 foot flatbed trailer by 82 Square Studio. And of course this one, the updated TLX 1982. So this one here, uh, you can configure to more or less what you like. Um, and just be sure that you have it uh, as a 50 footer. 50 footer. So, low loaders. This guy here, 50 foot gooseneck transport trailer. Look at the price, 8,000 to buy. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go through all the options, but um, uh, what's really nice, you can also have it with um, pin hitch. You can actually pull it with a normal tractor. So, like so, there we go, 50 foot. And if you wanna have it even longer, you can adjust the tail from flat deck to dovetail, which makes it even longer. And I think that's what I have, yeah. Now, it, it won't fit perfectly, but it will fit. <laughs> and, and also, with this kind of plow, uh, you're gonna need uh, a pretty heavy tractor and a tall, tall tractor, a high tractor. So the three point link um, is high and you need that to be able to back it into it. But as you can see, there is no collision on the whole plow here. See so if I back it over here and boop, disconnect like so. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it's working. Listen to this guy here. Hallelujah. Tension belts on. And you're good to go. And now you're not 20 meter wide. You are 3 meter wide. Coming down to the field. Reconnecting to your plow. Let's see if we can uh, get the snow back. Now the only thing uh, I've discovered when using this is you need to have it more or less a flat area to, to be able to, uh, to both disconnect it and reconnect it. Boop. There we go. And we're back on track. So there we go. That's... Let's see my notes here now. And yeah, I think that is. That's my top five best plows for Farming Simulator 22 for all platforms. If you like it, hit that like button. I'm probably going to do similar videos on top five videos in the future when I have the time and availability. But anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.